and welcome to my apartment. Welcome to my apartment. Um, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of my place today. This is my very first apartment that I've ever had after moving out on my own for the first time. I am currently attending Minnesota State University in Mankato. So um, if you don't know where that is, just know that it is up north and cold. So yeah. <laughs> I am currently a student studying to major in music industry and this is the place where I'm going to be living for the next two-ish years probably so yeah let's go ahead and take a look. Okay so to start things off here is my entryway. I know it is not really that exciting but we have to start somewhere right? Okay so yes here is the door where you will first come in to see my place. Down here I have a sunflower welcome mat. It tends to get pretty messy over here here. I have to have the mat kind of this awkward distance away from the door so that it actually doesn't roll up uh, whenever I move the door. Over here to the side I just have a uh, shoe shelf yeah with some winter boots and some other shoes so yeah not that exciting. Let's move on to the cooler stuff. Moving on this way here is my very small table and chairs also some weights kind of like under the table. Hello and welcome to my very fancy uh not small dining room table. <laughs> This is actually a table that I got off of Amazon that came with the chairs for a pretty decent price. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of very small things that will fit into small places because this apartment is not super big. On my table here, I have a rainbow changing color salt lamp, uh, a BTS picture. You will probably never see more of those ever again from me, and especially not in this apartment. Also, I have a fake succulent. I have a lot of fake plants in here. I do have a couple of real ones, but we're getting there. We're not, we're not fully there yet. So yeah, we have a lot of fake friends in here. It's okay. These kind of fake friends don't talk and they can't do anything. So I'm okay with that. Salt and pepper and reusable napkins. Wow, I'm so eco-friendly. I love that for me. <laughs> Over here, just kind of chilling on this chair is my backpack. So this is my main bag that I use for every day. Yeah, just every day. <laughs> it is decorated with a bunch of stuff from Kayami, which you will also definitely probably not see any more of from me here. I'm lying. I love her a lot and have lots of her art everywhere. Okay, so yeah, my backpack usually just kind of chills over here close to the entryway corner in some sort of aspect because I need to go out with it a lot. So it's hanging out over here. Um, by the way, if you like any of Kayami's stuff, uh, I will have her shop link in the description down below because she has a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to be showing you a lot of stuff from her in my apartment and not sponsored at all. I just really love her stuff. She's an independent artist and makes really cool things. So you should check her out because yes we love her okay so awkwardly kind of right above my table is this wanted poster uh, Harry Potter style of me and my mom actually this was from when we went to visit Warner Brothers Studios in London a couple of years ago and I don't really have a super specific place for it so it's just kind of like lonely over here <laughs> we're just chilling over here looking super intimidating Oh yeah, don't mess with those witches. Also, by the way, sorry if there is some background noise happening. Um, my heater will be turning on intermittently, I'm sure, throughout this video a number of times, so the audio might be kind of weird every now and then. I do have the heat turned up in here because it's really drafty, actually. Uh, the windows and door are not like heat sealed very well, so it gets really cold in here. I have the heat turned up 
pretty high so yeah it will probably be kicking on uh, pretty frequently so yeah just a heads up okay back to the tour so moving on from my table and chairs we are going to be looking at one of my favorite parts of my apartment and that is my extra kitchen space it is this shelf that I like to refer to as like my coffee and tea bar so let's take a closer look okay so starting off with the artwork above my little cafe that I have going on down here. Up here, I have a calendar from Kayami. Like I said, you're going to be seeing a lot of Kayami artwork in my apartment. I really love her. So this is her 2020 calendar, which I am absolutely in love with. Look at how cute that is. It is just beautiful. And I believe that you can still get some of these on her website. I'm not sure if she's totally sold out or not. Don't quote me on that. Um, but you can check that out. Out. Also, she is selling the art prints from her calendar separately. Here is one of them. This is for the month of November. Um, and she does, I'm pretty sure she does still have these up if she's out of calendars. So yes, really beautiful. I do sort of have a theme with my pictures that I have going on up here. I really wanted to keep it like cafe inspired. I also have this piece of artwork from an artist here on YouTube, actually a uh, catnip illustration. She does some really cool videos and I got this card along with an order that I purchased uh, Which was of a mouse pad. I also like to um, Stick up some paint chips from like Home Depot Lowe's any kind of place where you can find paint chips pretty much And I did actually try to match up the names with things that would go with a cafe theme. So yeah, Okay, so moving on to the top shelf that I have over here. I have my coffee pot. Um, a lot of tea is hanging out underneath these coffee filters. And I have another uh, box of tea over here, or tin of tea, I should say. This is my coffee and tea ambassador. He does not yet have a name, so feel free to comment one for him down below. But he's just here to um, help you select your coffee or tea. Um, remind you that you are amazing and that you are loved and he's just really here to help you establish some healthy habits so we love him over here is my starbucks mug collection the you are here collection i really really love these i'm really sad that i missed getting the one when i was in paris france um i have a bunch from the places that i have been that really stood out to me but i forgot to get that one so if i ever go back there i would love to pick that one up but in the meantime these are all of the ones that i have on to my middle shelf right now it's looking pretty sad <laughs> but that's just because i've eaten my food okay it's a good thing i use this basket for any kind of fruits that shouldn't go in the fridge right away Ooh, ooh, mm, yeah i should eat that real soon and like chop off that part we're not looking too hot we'll just put that back in its corner down over here i have my crock pot and this is actually a container that i got from uh aldi they have these all over the place because they don't um give you bags you have to buy them or they have to bring their own bags so this one i got and it just keeps all of my canned soups and other canned things in here Woo! exciting wow i know basically over here is just extra storage space for my kitchen which is very small and cannot hold a whole a lot of things so all the extras hang out over here another thing that i wanted to mention is that this is actually just a really cheap plastic like shelf thing um i think my parents originally got it from just like like walmart or something like that for now it is working pretty well as a very cheap uh cafe shelf yeah and extra storage <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to continue this way into my kitchen. Okay, so my kitchen really isn't that exciting. It's just kind of a normal kitchen, but I can show you some of the stuff that I've got. Hanging up over here, I have my Kiki's Delivery Service uh, kitchen mitts. I have a microwave. It takes up like most of my very small amount of counter space. Okay, I guess I can show you guys a little bit of like what I have in my cabinets here, um, just so you can kind of get an idea. So again, everything Everything is sort of crammed in as much as it will go. I just have some dishware on the bottom here 
food on top. By the way, all of my dishware that is in here is actually from the dollar store. I have a number of sunflower plates, and then I also really like these kind of like square plates as well. Over here is my fridge, and so these little flower magnets that are covering my fridge are actually from Urban Outfitters. I found them on their website. They really weren't that expensive, but I just love the way that they make my fridge look. It just kind of adds a pop of color here in my otherwise kind of dull kitchen. This is a magnet that I got a while back. Uh, I think it's funny. Also, that's me because I hate cooking. This is actually an old list, but this is uh, where I write down just some things that I need. Once this kind of gets all filled up, I will take it off and go shopping. And then this is just a kind of uh, storage guide reminder for how to store vegetables and other produce. It's really helpful actually. Okay, so over here on the other side of my kitchen wall is a dry erase board. This is just uh, my schedule for all of my classes. And then I use this little magnet here. This I just put on the date over there. And then I also have a, another print from Kayami over here of this really cute girl by the ocean. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, and through here we have my bedroom. This is where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean watching Strong Girl Bong Soon on my Netflix account on my computer because I don't know anybody here. <laughs> anyway, yes, this is my bedroom. So let's go ahead and give you guys a closer look as to what is going on over here. <laughs> yeah, the first thing you guys will probably notice when walking into my bedroom is my art wall. I started doing these a couple years ago and it's literally just me printing out pictures, collecting posters, stickers, art prints, things like that, and putting them all up on my wall next to my bed. Uh, I like to kind of do a corner style like this, and yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit closer here. So I obviously have BTS posters uh, in my room. I have a lot of Kayami art. You'll see Studio Ghibli stuff, some memes and jokes, a couple pictures of of me actually and just anything else that I find that I really like and want to put on my wall yeah I try to keep a lot of the like quotes that I have that really mean a lot to me down over here because this is where I lay my head at night and so this is where I try to put either inspiring quotes or just things that really help me out so that if I'm stressing out at night I can just look right over here and see what is really important and just some nice reminders and things like that. So yeah, I have obviously a lot more. If you guys want me to go in detail on each of these, I can do like an art tour if you guys are interested. Just leave a comment down below to let me know if you are interested in seeing that at all, but let's move on. For my bed, this bedspread you can find literally anywhere. It's all wrinkled now because I was just sitting on it. This bedspread was originally, I believe, from Ikea, but you can find this now on Amazon. It's also all over Pinterest. I don't know, it's like the artsy student bedspread. <laughs> Down over here, I just have more blankets. I get really cold at night, so I like to layer up with the blankets. Uh, and I have my laptop over here. Um, I don't really have a good place for it, so it's just kind of chilling at the end of my bed. I put it on the floor sometimes too, so. Uh, but yeah, I like to use that too. Like I said, watch Netflix, specifically Strong Girl Bong Soon. And then over here, so I have this reusable bag that I got from Target a while ago. I do have a BT21 mask over here. This vine over here, I just got this from, I believe, Hobby Lobby, and then I just twisted some fairy lights into it, put it above my bed, and most vines and lights I literally just attach with tape, like just regular tape, and that is what I have with this too. Over here, I have my bedside table. I have cough drops because it gets so dry in this apartment. I do have a humidifier, but I oftentimes need those, especially at night. And then I also have my Google Home Mini. Hey, Google. What's the weather like today? In Mankato today, there will be scattered snow showers with a forecasted high of 3 and a low of minus 4. Currently, it's 1 with snow showers. 
So yeah, currently it's one degree outside and it is still snowing apparently, so love that for me. I have this lamp over here that I bought from Ikea just to give me some more light. And over here I have a charm, wow, from Kayami. Can you start to see my obsession with all of her stuff? I love her so much and this is really cute. And then I also have a little Pusheen in a either mug or teacup, I'm not totally sure what, but they're just kind of hanging out on my lamp over here. Making our way over to this side of my room, I have a picture of my kitty who sadly passed away last year. Uh, I'm still really sad about it and I love her so much. So there is her picture and then there is her old collar. So she hangs out over there. Over here is my vanity. Hello! <laughs> And this is what I use to get ready every morning. I like to have it in front of the window So if it's ever sunny outside, which it has not been recently um, But if it ever is I can get some good lighting to do my makeup I have a, another vine that is again taped across the top over here, and then I just have makeup brushes uh, Setting spray some nice scents that I like and then on this side So you guys can probably see that I have more fairy lights over here And then I just have kind of some miscellaneous uh, decorations on my windowsill over here. This one is so Super, super special to me. This uh, I got from Kayami. My sister commissioned Kayami to make me a really special piece of artwork that I will be showing you guys in a little bit. And she sent me this birthday card uh, as well. And I just, I love it so much. Shin and Rainy here are her two characters who are my absolute favorites out of all of her characters. So she knew that it would mean a lot to me to draw them on a card and send that to me. So that is really special to me. I love having it here to see when I get ready. Over here I have laundry basket, yay, not exciting. Also I need to do laundry soon. And then I have a bunch of bath bombs from Lush that I need to use soon. I have my closet over here. It's not super exciting inside. It is surprisingly organized right now. Not the shoes though. Why? Okay, it's not organized. I take it back. The shoes are just like a pile. Okay, leave me alone. Um, yeah, it's not that interesting honestly. And then I just have more storage up there. It's not that exciting, so goodbye. Next to that is my my shelf over here. It just kind of houses some miscellaneous things. On top, I have, wow, stuff from Kayami. More pins. I have a Wind Waker a Zelda plushie. I also have an ocarina over here. Um, I do like to play it every now and then. I'm really out of practice though, so I'm not sure if I can still play it. And then this, you guys. Okay, so this is actually, once again, really, really special to me. This is shockingly from Kayami, but this is uh, a piece that she did for me. This was actually after she saw my first video that I made of uh, my collection of all of her artwork. She really liked it apparently and then sent me this and I treasure it because obviously um, it is me and it's just it means a whole lot to me but also she drew my cat Tessa who like I said passed away last year so this holds a really really special place in my heart and I definitely did not expect her to do anything like this so she's just just a really sweet and cool person so I would definitely recommend supporting her if you like her work. Up on top, yeah, is kind of this crazy situation that I have going on over here. So uh, over here on the side real quick is where all of my necklaces are. This actually is supposed to be hung up by command hooks on the wall but I can't actually put up command hooks so it is just hanging out over here on the bottom of my cork board. And then yeah, this is my cork board. So I pretty much just use this for a lot of like memorabilia pretty much. Uh I guess I'll briefly go over all of it. Um, so down here I have a lot of Pokemon cards. I also have Marshall, uh, the card from Animal Crossing. He is my favorite character in Animal Crossing. I have a lot of BTS photo cards over here. This is where all of those guys live. A lot of enamel pins over here. It's almost exclusively Kayami and BTS to be totally honest. <laughs> Up here is my friend's business card. Her name is Nina and she owns the Third Eye Soap Store on Etsy. I will once again link her down below, but she makes some really cool, pretty, and good smelling soaps, so I would really recommend checking her out. So yeah. Over on this side of my room is not quite as exciting. Um, it's just pretty plain and clean kind of compared to the rest of the busyness that is the rest of my room. Here I actually have a nightlight. I really like um, night lights I guess. I really like glowing things. So this one, I kid you not, is I believe 16 years old and it still works. Um, Yeah, I got this when I first moved to 
Florida. And that was about 16 years ago. So yeah, we're still going strong. I love my nightlight. I'm actually going to be devastated when this thing goes out. <laughs> A fake plant. This is my full length mirror. I actually kind of hate it. Um, it's really cheap uh, and it really makes me not look that flattering I feel like because it's so cheap so <laughs> Over here on this side, I have two dressers. This is for any of the clothes that don't fit in my closet hanging up. On top over here, I have, this is a bag that I got from visiting Too Faced in London, and inside of that, I just have a fake plant. And then over here, I have my uh, clear container of all of my jewelry. And then through this door over here is my bathroom. So sorry that it's not that exciting, honestly. And also, sorry that the fan always turns on with the light. There isn't a separate switch, so it's kind of annoying. But here's my bathroom. I'll just show you guys quickly. Um, this is my shower curtain that I purchased off of Amazon. The floor is ugly. <laughs> I hate this floor. Uh, and it does not go with the bath mat that I uh, picked out before I moved. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not... They clash, but oh well, it's okay. I just have my peach bath towels. I like having peach accents in here. I have some soap from a Third Eye Soap Store, like I said, run by Nina. This one is rose scented. It's really, really pretty. And it also has like some sparkles in there too. I don't know if you can really see them very well. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here because it's really not that exciting. Okay, so heading back out the door here. We get to my favorite part of my apartment and that is my living room. love my bedroom this is definitely my favorite part of my apartment this is my living room so here is sort of an overall shot of this side of what it looks like and then I'll go ahead and take you guys in for a closer look let's go ahead and start off with the couch and my coffee table so both the couch and the coffee table are from Ikea this actually is a sleeper sofa so it folds down in case I have any guests over I obviously have my chimney pillow over over here on my coffee table I have this real plant um, which is kind of struggling a little bit but I did just re pot it though so I'm hoping that that is why and not the fact that like I'm a bad plant mom I'm really trying to be better this is just a teacup that I have just set out for decoration I really like the way that it looks here I have a candle from Bath and Body Works this is banana bundt cake I have never smelled a candle like this before and I love it underneath here I do have just kind of some miscellaneous storage I have extra candles that I'm not lighting right now I have um Rover hanging out over here he didn't really have a place anywhere else, so he's just kind of chilling over here, I guess. My How to Train Your Dragon art books from the first and second movies. I have DVDs on the other side, some essential oils, my coasters, just kind of, again, miscellaneous decor stuff. Moving on over here, this was originally what I was going to have my crates for to begin with, was for holding blankets, but um, I figured that having both of them out here would just be a little bit much, so I just opted for the one on this side. Up behind the couch is once again another art wall. I tried to keep this one a little bit toned down compared to my room. I have a lot of Kayami, some Pokemon, Studio Ghibli, BTS, Spyro, Sunflowers, uh, Breath of the Wild, all kinds of stuff going on over here. Moving on to this corner, I have my lamp and then I do have this chair. It doesn't super go with the uh, theme that I have going on right now. It does kind of, but like I'm again doing more yellow. So I have it mostly covered up with this blanket. This is Fauna from Animal Crossing and this is one of my favorite plushies of all time, you guys. This is from a shop called Sugar Bunny Shop um, and this is their character Nyan Pan and look at the bottom. Oh my gosh. I believe they still sell these and it comes in like a little bread bag. It is too much you guys. I love this and I want like seven more. <laughs> I want a clan of bread cats. My yoga mat is down over there. A poster from Kayami. Ah, 
okay, so I really really like this shelf This is just a bookshelf once again from Ikea starting at the bottom This is just a shelf with a lot of my fantasy books that I have out over here on this side I have um, some kind of learning books a second shelf here Oh my gosh, do you like how there's like a shine over the picture right now? And so it's kind of giving you like the mystery anime parents vibes like you can't exactly tell like who they are anyway that was really distracting so over here i have two books from kayami a pink cassette tape i have never listened to the music on it because i don't have a cassette player i just got it because it was pink this is a picture of me and my sister and my best friend welcome to my k-pop show so i still don't have all of the bts albums i'm slowly working on getting all of them but i do have a pretty good start here and then I also have the notes and then I have some albums by TXT and then one by 17 okay you guys this is a really special part of my show <laughs> So, remember how before I was telling you guys about a really special piece that um, my sister commissioned from Kayami? Well, that is this piece. So, if you guys don't uh, know about BTS and their Speak Yourself tour, uh, this is a picture of my bias in BTS, Jimin, and this is a picture of him from the Speak Yourself tour. Uh, I, I can't even, like, express how much I love this. It's beautiful it is so gorgeous and I it, it has so much meaning behind it this was a performance that really meant a lot to me and then the fact that my sister commissioned it so it's like it has BTS my sister um, the concert and my favorite artist all wrapped up into one so this is so so special to me I love it so much and kind of in combination with that is this picture so this is an extra that Kayami did for my birthday once again that it came with this uh, my sister didn't commission this from her she just made this for me and oh my gosh like I I can't again like I can't really even describe how much this means to me so it is a uh, postcards from nowhere series Shin and Rainy and then she drew me with them and that was so I opened this part of the present first and I got emotional and then like opening this part next like this was where the tears happened <laughs> so yeah these two are really really special to me um, and so they live over here and I yeah prized possessions they're they're here <laughs> On the side of this, I have Connor the Panda. I love this plush so much. This is one of Kayami's like main characters. I don't know if like that makes sense, but this is like her one of her staple characters who's been around for a really long time. I have my army bomb back there. By the way, these mini ones that you see, this is just from the dollar store. So like a dollar and I don't have to kill it it'll just be there all the time up on top I have my uh, Hyrule Historia book I just think it's so beautiful next to that I have my uh, breath of the wild Nendoroid figure he is hanging out next to a picture of my beautiful parents yes I love them so much and on the very top I have three uh, pop figures of BTS. I have the Maknae line there. Uh, and then behind them, I have a chimmy bag. Um, I believe it's just like a makeup bag, but I like to use it as decoration. I have the uh, BTS on the membership kit back there. And then I have another pinky plant, which is from Ikea. Yeah, that is my shelf, yay. Fake sunflowers once again, I got these on sale. Down on the side over here, I have my dad's old guild guitar. Uh, this has a lot of nostalgic, like sentimental meaning for me. Um, he had this when I was a baby. I really, really love it. I can play a couple of chords and actually this helps me a lot in coming up with songs that I want to write. Choose happy. Here is my windowsill. I am so happy that I got like actual window sills in this apartment so over here a fake plant i have a decorative bottle a little uh shaman pokemon figure so uh mudkip is my favorite pokemon but i do love shaman a lot too i have this choose happy like light up sign thing that i think i just got from target this is a real plant Ooh, wow exciting and next to that i have spyro spyro has a ton of nostalgia and sentimental meaning to me so i love spyro the dragon next to that is actually a um like vase cup thingy that I made in pottery class a couple years back and this just holds some extra batteries for when I need to switch out the batteries on my fairy lights. Down over here on this side I have my like 
gemstone minerals rocks collection over here on this shelf so this is a shelf that I uh, spray painted and you can probably tell that it's not uh, spray painted very well I only did one coat of paint and then I got lazy and just never finished it but on top I have a real plant Wow go me and then I have a couple more um, crystals moving down I have my blue Yeti USB mic along with a pop screen filter um so that i can record any voiceovers this by the way is just another fake vine that i have taped onto the side this is actually my army membership card uh yeah so that hangs out over here i guess just kind of randomly i don't really have another place for it and then down here is my midi keyboard that i use to make some music so before i move on to my desk i also want to talk about the art and lights that i have uh below my windowsill over here and uh these are little Polaroid like it's like in in stacks is that what it's called like the little film thing that's not quite Polaroid but like it is Polaroid either way so that is what all of these are I have quite a few of them and they're all strung up uh, on these lights over here so these are just a couple of pictures that I have from traveling specifically so uh, most of these were actually taken by my sister Eve she's a really good photographer actually and she took um, all four of these ones here this picture up here is one that I took of a carousel and then just kind of some vendors that were right next to the Eiffel Tower. If you ever go visit there, this is like the area right beneath it. The reason that they are so vibrant and colorful is because I just used some matte photo paper. You can buy this off of Amazon for not that much and if you have a printer at home, I have had really nice results. These pictures turned out really bright. Over here, this is a light crystal prism that I have hanging from my window so that in the morning it catches the light if there is light streaming through um, I've only had it like be light enough in here two days since I've lived here in two weeks for it to be sunny enough to actually make rainbows um, I have another one in my bedroom as well and it's really beautiful if it's sunny where you are oh my gosh you should invest in one of these again I got it off of Amazon not that expensive and it just it's so beautiful like it makes it so nice to wake up early in the morning so you can see rainbows all over your room down over here is my desk it's kind of not the most organized but that's because I just I work on a lot of projects over here so it tends to get a little bit chaotic this is the computer that I use to um, make my videos make music sort of do all of my projects I just got this this past Christmas so it's brand new to me here's my desk it's just from Target this is the mug that I was actually just drinking out of it is a heat changing Tamagotchi mug I love Tamagotchi so yes there is that this is my planner I love this planner I got it off of a website called mochithings.com it's it's a really nice like minimalistic planner um, I also have <laughs> look it's Kayami so this is what I use to pretty much stay organized okay so this is the mouse pad that I ordered from catnip illustrations I don't think she is restocking this one at all but I absolutely love this little uh, lemon mouse pad this is my very extra Starbucks tumbler um they came out with these it's like a Christmas holiday one it's super bedazzled and yes it does kind of hurt to hold this is my ancient iPod that I have it's super super old um, and it has my headphones I don't care if it's old-fashioned it works so well and I love it and I'm going to be very extremely sad if it ever breaks because I love it so much and then I have headphones by the way this is like an old chair that just travels with me everywhere it used to be my dad's now it's mine it's kind of broken but like we're whatever it's it's fine it gets the job done I can sit in it down here below my desk is once again not super organized over here is my bin thing um I just got this at I believe again the dollar store and this holds like my sketchbook and a ton of notebooks that I'm using for school right now I have like some more files and folders of stuff over here and then this is just a bag of like art markers I was using them a little bit earlier so I just didn't put them back yet this was the only thing that I got from Too Faced when I was in London which is what came in that bag that we saw in my room earlier so 
but yeah I keep art markers in there okay you guys so that concludes my apartment tour there are just a couple of things that I want to mention before I go and before I end the video so first of all if there is anything in my apartment that you guys have questions on like where I got furniture where I picked up decor or anything like that please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try my best to remember where I got it and about how much it costs the other thing that I want to mention is that all of the music in the background of this video was made by me I am majoring in music industry so even though it's just the beginning of the semester and I haven't really like learned a whole lot I've only learned like a little bit I have been messing around quite a bit with uh, making music so that was the music that you heard in the background of this video and if you guys are interested in hearing more of that uh, I'm going to be sharing a lot more of that here on my channel very soon even though I am in school and I have classes and things like that I am going to be posting it on here as much as I can yeah I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bring in for a hug you guys bye bye